from Chalimont. The proud nation of Ireland has been origin to many popular beverages, the black and white deliciousness that is Guinness, and the tasty refreshing cider known as Bulmers. The city of Dublin has some of the world's finest pubs, where tourists get the chance to enjoy all the wonderful beer and cider Ireland has to offer. And of course, don't forget whiskey. Often lost and forgotten in bottle shops around Australia, the quality of Irish whiskey can hold its own against the giants of the Scotch and American whiskey industry. So, it's a merry St. Patrick's Day to Let's, who I can see him he's licking his lips at the mention of Irish whiskey. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. Say hello. 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 Sorry, <laughs> I, was, I just, mine was set on Irish whiskey there. You had me when you said Irish whiskey. <laughs> he's and, drooling now, yeah, like a pop it up. Yes. <laughs> And, of course, it's a merry St. Paddy's Day to Craig, a man who can honestly say he's tasted a total of three whiskies in his whole life, and none of which were Irish. To be sure, to be sure, absolutely. It's going to be the accent show today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello! Well, it's good to see he's got his accent back. That's good. Oh, yes. <laughs> Irish is easy. Yeah, All right. Much better than the pirate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, gentlemen, I've brought in two Irish whiskies. Uh, Lance, you've got one as well? Uh, I've got um, two that I have the same brand. Now, we're going to start off with good old Jamison. Ah, oh, can't go wrong. Jamo. Now, now um, I've gotten into a bit of a habit. Uh, when I go travelling, if I'm in a hotel for two or three nights or more, I usually end up getting a bottle of Jamison and chucking it in the freezer and that keeps me going I did, I did it once and then the next time I did it I thought oh, I could go a bottle of Jamison and then now it's pretty much every time I go somewhere if I'm staying in a foreign place in a hotel room then I'm, I've always got a bottle of Jamison yeah. it's always cold waiting yeah. for me how many litres or gallons do you think you've had of Jamison Lance? Oh, I don't think I've got enough hands and feet to count on <laughs> 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 yeah it's it's, it's um Good old faithful. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing um, wrong with it. No, nah, definitely not. And I found, um, as my theory goes, you stepped up to the cork bottle. It is. It, it is a screw top. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this one's a screw top. This yeah. one's if, a screw top. If I have had the the, the corked bottle, and oh, jeez, it's okay. it's. I think they've they've changed the bottle lately, but yeah, it's definitely something worth buying. Yes, um, it's, but, um, but yeah, you can't go wrong. I yeah, always find myself in the in the summer, Jamison's fresh lime and, and soda water. Yeah, that's yeah, that, it's that good like that. Refreshes you every day, every time. Yeah, it's good neat and it's it's good with stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Craig, would you like a sniff before we have a pop? Yeah, I'll have a bit of a sniff. You haven't had uh, any Irish whiskey before, and I think this is a good way to uh, mm. start off. Good introduction. For your first go. Hmm. Slightest sense of methane, but not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lance, are you doing the honours? Mm, smells lovely. Does. I mean, it's not the um, it's not the perfect whiskey. It's not a it's not a ten out of ten, but um, there's there's nothing wrong with it. Um... For for a base model whiskey, definitely smells good. What do you reckon, Craig? Smell like I'll clean out the sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be able to breathe easy easy tonight. I hope so. Half my, half my nostrils is blocked, I think. Oh. <coughs> no. <Holy> oh. <laughs> you okay? Yep. <laughs> That's mm. delicious. It is. Hello, world. It reminds me, I have to buy a bottle of Jamison's. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good to have around, Jamison. Definitely. Not that I want for mixing, I always... I'll always drink it neat, and I'll always enjoy it neat, but when it's used in a cocktail the right way, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. A fruity taste, I can taste. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. some fruit, fruit in there. It's nice and smooth. It's almost um, caramelised at the end, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's, yeah, it's got that sort of uh, smooth feel about it. Um, you know, it smells lovely. There's no, no real burn mm -hmm. either. It's not unpleasant. It's not bitter. Thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah. There's no, there's no sort of standout element there that makes it sort of a cut above the average. No. But there's nothing wrong with it either. For, for me, it's it's a 7 out of 10. Yeah. I think the, the part that stands out is the caramelising afterwards. That, that You don't normally get that in um, cheap bottles. Mm -hmm. Like 
you spend under fifty dollars, you don't normally tend to find that. Yeah, yeah, it's got that really. I like the word caramelized because once you down it, it's smooth and it's sweet, and yeah, it doesn't it doesn't come through with that bitterness or burn at the end. So. I like, yeah, I like that. It's a caramelized. It is. Flavor. I like yeah, it. That's good. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Craig, how are you feeling? I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still sitting up. Um, have you got a sweet aftertaste coming through? A um, bit of an aftertaste. Not, not unpleasant, which is Ooh. a little start. Oh, we've, we've found one you, you sort of likes a little I'm bit. I think our, in our pilot one or something. So what, what we had in the pilot one? It was the um, other whiskeys. No, it wasn't. Was it whiskeys? No, scotch. You've had the, oh, the like Isla, Jim Beam. You've had the Isla scotch, the Ardbeg. Ardbeg, yeah. You've had... Wild turkey, Turkeys. which is a bourbon, rare and, breeds. and you had the, uh, no it wasn't the rare breed. Oh you rare didn't breed. have rare breed? No, you had the standard one, oh, okay. and you had the uh, the Jim Beam Fire, yep. which was the cinnamon. Yeah, yep. they left aftertastes. Yeah, yep. so, so this is the nicest, nice. you think, you've had so far? Oh, well, the initial blow your head off was <laughs> interesting, but yeah, yeah, the aftertaste, once it all settles down, wasn't too mm. bad. Wasn't a, a big burn or anything there before you? No, actually, it wasn't no, a bad at all. No, there's no yeah. heat that comes through, which is really nice. If I've noticed the last couple of times, keep in mind, listeners, this is. I don't drink. Um, still don't drink, even though I'm on this series. Um, I've just been tasting. Doing, doing, sn- doing Nothing tasting. Nothing wrong with that. No. Wrong with that? Um, but I've noticed that just as you're about to take the mouth, it's sort of get. I know some vapor or something it just goes right up your nose and sort of cleans everything out. Mm-hmm. Quite distinctly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it does does like the door. Oh, hello, I'm here. Yeah. We're yeah. ready to go for a ride. So you know, I haven't gone and read out the label and and googled it and researched it because I've just had it so many times and I love it so much. Yeah. I've just sort of. Well, if you go down to your local bottle shop, you'll find dozens of this on the shelf. Yeah. And they always keep yeah. the stock up because people buy it because yeah. it is good. Well, it's the most popular Irish whiskey in Australia. Obviously. Yeah, that's true. So we got to move on, but I just want to drink more keep it on. It. Yeah, I could, <laughs> I could definitely settle the night there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I scored the Jamison. I gave it a seven. Did you score it? Oh, I didn't. I, I would also say seven. Seven. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy with um, six and a half or seven. <clears throat> Craig, yeah. are you working on a ladder system where you sort of put your favourite at the top? Um, no, I've been thinking, I probably won't score, right. considering I'm, I'm just, go for the tasting experience, but yeah, not being experienced enough, I'm probably not qualified to score, right. um, okay. so yep. I no, that's understood. go with a, that was interesting. <laughs> so, so it's above average. Okay, so it, it didn't make you need to grab for something else? No. And it left a pleasant aftertaste? Left an aftertaste, yeah. and wasn't too bad. It wasn't unpleasant. Okay. And you said it stung your eyes a bit? Stung the nose, what, which is good to so clear it out. I can breathe now. Oh, mm. well, there you go. So it's not bad news for the Jamison? Not bad news, yes, no. Right, mm. cool. Coming into winter? Definitely not. Yes, yes, I can't wait for winter. I've got lots of whiskey waiting mm. to keep me warm this winter. We'll, um, we'll have to go around to his house. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, mm. so Lance, you're up. Today I bought in a couple of Bushmills. Now they're, um, they are a very old whiskey, well, with a date 1608 on the bottle as a just established um, date. I'm interested. Are you interested? I've, I've had a couple of these, so. Well, um, here's my snob moment. Oh, here uh, we go. It's he's, a, he's, oh, he's, yeah, snobby moment. Yeah, oh, I've been here back. and I've done that. We'll sit back in his couch and he sits up on his yeah. high chair and mm, tells yeah. us about his snob moment. Mm. Enjoy well, your throne. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blend. It's not yeah. a single malt. Yeah, this one is. Yeah. It, it's a blend. So therefore, I'm not expecting it to be very good. Okay. The only Bushmills I've had is the 12-year single malt. Okay. And a blend is a mixture of all the single malts that went wrong, mm-hmm. and they blended them together. So. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that what they told you at the factory? Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a factory, yeah, well, not well, the Bushmill factory, but yeah. A factory. So it can't be wrong. Well, that's obviously correct. You're still interested, though? Would you? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Give it a go? Okay. I'll give it a go. And, well, and going back to your theory from the pilot, it's a screw top. It's a screw top. It's it's a screw but top. so is the Jamison's. It's a screw, yeah, yeah. yeah true, so, true. Jamison's a screw top. It, it's not all screw tops yeah. are screwed. I, I've That's tried right. this one. Um, honestly, I do prefer it with a little bit of ice. But mm-hmm. let's try it next, let's say. What do you say? I'll do the honours. Let's have the Bushmill blend neat. 
They win. That's good. Cool. Cheers, fellas. Wow. Cheers. I've been told that a lot of people say this smells like a certain something now. Now, I want to know what your opinion is. <laughs> Not quite methane. Eh? <laughs> it's a very strong alcohol smell. Like, what? There's no, there's no sort of flavour in the smell. It's just, okay. it's just alcohol. Yeah. There's no sweetness. There's no, you know, nothing. There's no smoke. There's nothing okay. like that. There's no, there's no flavour in the smell. It's just yeah. that real punch of alcohol. Yeah. Now, apparently, uh, most bush mills that you buy, apparently they smell like banana skin. Banana skins. Banana yeah. skins. Okay. Hmm. I found that very interesting. So like, do they use? They must use banana skins, or they must. I don't know. Well, hmm. To get flavour, or. Well, banana. And there's a fruit. That's yeah, it's a fruit. Fruit element. It's a sweeter fruit. So. They use the zest of an orange and a lemon. They might use the zest of a uh, zest of a <laughs> banana skin. <laughs> okay. Let's okay, go. Okay, taste test. Let's. <coughs> that's hard. Jeez. That's hard to get down, isn't it? How do you get down here again? <sighs> Craig, you okay? I'm all good. I'm still you got a little alive. bit in there. Put, put a little bit of ice in there for well, it's, it's got that punch, yep. that real alcohol punch, very, that real bitter sort of hit to it. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the aftertaste of that fruit comes through at the end. Yeah, that's um, right. So that's. I was worried that um, you know it, it may finish as bad as it started, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's a bit more pleasant mm -hmm. at the back end of this week. I wouldn't mind a bit of ice in that. Bit of ice, yeah. Two cubes in there. I think ice is good. Yeah. It'll, yeah, it'll help cut through that really rich sweetness oh. and maybe let, might uh, help get through the... I did. Do you want another bit? No, that's, that's good. That's a good bit. It, um, <sighs> just let it melt a bit and... So this is a... This is a mixer. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think you can drink this neat for very long, and then no, it, don't, it's and not, not expect to get. It's definitely a mix of being bottom of the range. Uh, might, I, might I add, um, all Bushmills Irish whiskies are triple triple distilled, <coughs> distilled. so um, <coughs> oh, that's you let your eyes smell. That's narky stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I, there's ice in my okay. I, I just put one cube in there. So, as we can see, that was a, that was a crowd favourite. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that um, heats it you. It just needs a little bit of water, that's all it does. All it needs. <sighs> no, that's a mixer, that's uh, Mine's that, much that better. That should play a small part in a big drink. That's that's not the star of Mine's really, really nice now. Just You try that. Well, how much ice you put in? Well, you put a, fit, a big chunk of ice a in mine. Chunk. Yeah, you just yeah. put a little chunk in yours. Yeah, I'll try you yours. try that, that cuts right through it. Yeah, that's better. That, yeah. See what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's a good decent size ice. That helps cut yeah. through it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that uh, gets you past the sort of the, that real sting, that real painful burn that comes through at the start. That gets you through that. Yeah. And then and there's left. no afterburn, just heaps of flavour. Yeah, and then, yeah, then you're, you're left with that fruity flavour. Yeah. So that's a lot better like that. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, a big chunk of ice. If, if you're going to enjoy it, so why not? Yeah, so well, you reckon, reckon James Bond when he walks in, say, like, I'd like a bush mills, please. Don't forget the eyes. Please, <laughs> God, don't forget the eyes. <laughs> no, I'm just. Uh, oh, he's got a bit more water, I'm hasn't he? Pouring water into it now. That's <laughs> okay. water. See, see we, mine's just right. Yeah, that wasn't quite quite two cubes, it was like one and a half cubes in one piece, so you still struggling there Marta? You're not a fan of it? No, not a fan. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> well I haven't had many Irish whiskies. Yeah. And until now, uh, I think they've all been good. So this mm -hmm. is the first God that's good one. Yeah the fir this is the first one I had where it wasn't all good news. Okay. This is uh disappointing. Hmm. So, but it is a blend. It, it's the bottom of that yeah. particular brand. Yeah, range. remembering it's it's the lowest yeah. grade bottle you can get. What what would you rate it out of ten? With okay, okay. What would you rate it straight. out of ten? Straight, neat. What? Yeah. What would you rate it neat? Well, uh, well I'm giving the whiskey a score. I'm not giving the the cocktail of whiskey okay. and water a score. 
whiskey and water. Yeah, but still... if, if whiskey needs water to make it taste better, well, then it's not very good. It shouldn't get a good score. Okay, so <laughs> Marta saying no, no to <laughs> no to whiskey well, I think with the, water. The flavour that comes through is nice. It's a nice fruity flavour. It is a little bit too sweet, but when you add the ice to it mm -hmm. or the water, it uh, brings it down a bit. Okay. But uh, that punch you get, just that real strong yeah. burn, that real sting. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not on. That's, okay. no, that, that's no fun. So. Okay. I think three is too many, but two is too low. So I'll give it a two and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you were to score it with a bit of water, I know you don't want it. Well, yeah, well, if I had water, it'd be, a, it'd be a three and a half. Mm. So it hasn't really climbed, <laughs> climbed that much at all. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd give it about a... I've definitely had worse. Give about four. Four or five. Four or five. Yeah, okay. only because I, I mainly drink it with a little bit of ice, because from experience of... Okay. Drinking this. Well, I think, like, like we talked about with the Jamison, how you a bit of soda water and some lime. Yeah. That's really nice. I think if you did something similar with that, some soda water yeah, probably and the lime. Um, maybe, mm. yeah, soda water's good. Probably not lemonade because it'd be too sweet. Yeah, yeah, it gets too sweet. Soda water. Fresh I lime. think that, that's the way way to go with, with that one. With yeah. the Bushmills basic blend. Yeah. Craig, you, what was your... Are you um, any pain, Craig? I'm still standing. Oh, no, he's... Um, he beat his record, but <laughs> this time I um, reached straight for the the water and the raspberry lemonade, which is right next to the whiskey glass. Ironically, next to the computer that we're recording this on, so that's a bit dangerous. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I reached straight for it and tried to, to wash it down. Right. So yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a hit. Not a lingering, not a lingering burn or aftertaste, which was the aftertaste wasn't too bad, which was pleasant. Oh, okay. Um, so is, it's more the initial put in your mouth. Yeah, more than you should. Hold your nose and Whoa. Yeah, don't breathe on anyone. Don't move. Okay. She won't. Oh, that's left a grubby taste in my mouth now, that yuck. Yeah, that, after taste. That grubbiness that. is coming through. Okay. So I'm regretting my two and a half. I should have, should have scored it love. Oh, oh. okay. My score a two? I'll give that a two. Okay. I changed my vote, it's a two. What was your score? I'd say about four. Four? It is a bit grubby. Craig has two levels. He won't drink it again or he might drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fair. I would drink it again. A bit of ice and maybe some lime. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we step it up? Okay. Oh, step got, it up. You've got another bush pills there, don't you? Yeah, I have a. a uh, what is it? A, a ten-year single malt. Ten-year single malt bush pills. Okay. Now my theory. How's it go? The cork theory. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so we stepped it up a notch. Um, we've gone from the lowest bush mills, which is a blended, triple distilled. Um, As we've discussed. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've skipped the next one, which was a... Black bush. Black bush, which is also a, a, blend. a blend. And we've gone straight to a 10 years, aged 10 years uh, single malt. Yep. Um, and it says here, matured in two woods, matured in bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks for a minimum of 10 years. How do you know that your, um, your age 10 year Bushmills hasn't been in the cast for 15 years? Yes, because the 15 years will take completely different to a 10 years. That's right. Yeah. Well, you, you get one <laughs> bottle of Bushmills that tastes different to another. So anyway, uh, that's, well, a, that's a good question. We have question, a recent level of snobbery where we can just have it blind taste or something and know how old it is. Yeah, I know. I think working toward it. Mm. I think when we do our live tour of um, the Bundo <laughs> Grum we'll, um, or a distillery somewhere, we'll, just, we'll ask them the question, so what do you think? <laughs> How's this yeah, work? The like 10 know. years. Yeah, I'd like to know a little bit more about that. Anyway, it also says, smooth uh, whiskey with a smooth honeyed flavour and hints of ripe fruit. Interested? Who's interested? Yeah. I'm interested. I do love a single malt. Okay. How yeah. about you do the honour, Craig? Oh, it's got a cork, so enjoy that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Ah. Lovely sound. Mm. It's not a very big cork. It's a very stubby cork. Before okay. today, the only bush mills I've had was the 12 year. And I enjoyed that. Okay. So I'm expecting this to be enjoyable also. Mm, lovely. Smells good? Yeah, smells good. You do the honours? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a silly question. Yeah, when? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, crap. Oh, you're right. Do you want me to 
Move over. That's good. Oh, whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh, I said that's it. good when it was about there. Oh, all right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just double, enjoy it. Double or nothing, says Craig. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's going helping generous there. there as well. Oh, look out. Oh. We'll see. Yeah. Have a bit of a schnifter. <coughs> mm. Fruity metho. Fruity <laughs> metho. So it is, you, you can actually smell fruit. Mm, it smells very, something. Hang on. Very Remember I said strong. banana skins? Yes. Okay. Didn't smell oh, a lot of these um, have banana skins. That's a bit like Vegemite. What? Vegemite. Did you have Vegemite before you came here? We're smelling no, Vegemite, like Vegemite out of here. We don't actually like Vegemite. No. Really? So, I'm not smelling I'm Vegemite. Very interested to see I'm what you're using. The taste test. I'm, just tr- I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get some flavours out of that smell, but it's so strong. I'm just getting that. Well, as strong as in alcohol or strong yeah, as in... alcohol smell. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get some sort of sense of flavour from the smell, but I'm not getting anything because it, it's, it's that uh, alcoholic odour is so strong. Yeah. It stings the nostrils. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure I can it. smell banana. I'm you reckon? Sh- yeah, I'm sure I can smell banana. Wow, banana. Yeah, banana. As in... Oh, look at that. Craig's head. He's reached right for the lemonade. Yeah. I'll sell that to my first. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can smell banana. Actually, I got it that time. Okay. That time, as I took a mouthful, I was, you know, I was, breathed in. I was, I was breathing in, but I was also, and I actually got a proper whiff of the flavour there instead of the, just the alcohol. And yeah, I could, it, banana was in there. I could smell it wasn't it. there? Yeah, I could smell banana. Banana! Mm. Mm, I find that very pleasant. I'm interested to see if it leaves a grubby taste like the last one. Hopefully that doesn't bring it down. Comparing as far as pleasantness goes, it seems to be a little bit more pleasant than the last one. I do smell banana. When I, when I have a swig and I breathe in, I can smell the banana, but mm-hmm. I don't really taste it. No, no. But it is a very sweet, fruity sort of, mm. sort of flavoured whiskey. It's not it's not a, like a herbal sort of vanilla sweetness or caramel. It's a, it's a fruity sweetness. Mm-hmm. But it's not too sweet as well, which is good. So it just, it does say ripe fruits, it doesn't say what sort of fruits. Intriguing. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I've had a sip and I'm waiting for the aftertaste, so. There's no pain uh, that's shown up yet. Mm-hmm. Not until about half an hour after you finish the half yeah. a glass of yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be here a while. Oh, shit. <laughs> No immediate complaints. It was just a sort of struggle to get started there because all I was sniffing was alcohol. But then when, when I get past that, then I get that fruitiness come through. Too mm-hmm. so, fruity. Too fruity. I'm actually I'm enjoying this. It's not it's not bad at all. I waited for a little bit before I had my sweet of raspberry lemonade. It didn't get a bad aftertaste. It wasn't too bad. It was tangy. It's tangy. The aftertaste is tangy. It's not. Yeah, there's a. It wasn't strong. There. Which is good. Excuse me. Yeah, there is a bit of tang there. Mm. It's not. Doesn't taste like dirt or or dry or anything. It's if it doesn't taste like dirt, that's a win. Yeah, it's it's, a it's, it's next net, next notch sharp. I think there's a bit of dryness there after the mouthful. Not a lot. It's not drying me out completely. It's just a. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right with the tang. There is a bit of tang. Plenty of flavour in it. When we started this this episode and tasting, my my taste buds were very. You know, hard to, to decide on, on what I was tasting, but now I'm actually slowly picking out. You know, mm. I've had a couple of whiskies during yeah. the week and tried a couple here and there, but now I'm actually getting a couple of flavours that I obviously didn't get when we started. It's good to know that um, my taste buds are maturing. Mm. Yeah, we could, we could my be palate like, is maturing. Mm. We could be like a sophisticated cooking show. Yes, it tastes good on my palate. I can taste the different flavours on my palate. And, mm. Um, the different uh, producers that have been, <laughs> the produce that was used to go in it and tastes uh, lovely. Yeah. That shits me about cooking shows is when someone's claim to fame is I have a good palate. Yeah, but can you cook? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're good yeah. at tasting food doesn't mean you're good at cooking. Yeah, it. it's funny because they, they taste all their foods individually, but when they combine them, they don't taste it at the end. It might taste good yeah. once you've cooked it, but when you put it all together... It tastes like crap. It tastes like crap. And everyone thinks it tastes like crap. Like the powers combined, mm. you end up with not Captain Planet because oh. he's good, you end up with Captain <laughs> Pollution because he's bad. 
The whiskey's flowing. It is. Conversation flows along with it. <laughs> so, Mario, are you enjoying this one? Find it yeah, I am. It's um, once you get into it, it's good. I think it needs a bit. Of, it's weird because because it's Irish. Mm -hmm. When you think of Ireland, you don't picture a tropical mm. place. You don't you don't think of Hawaii or the Caribbean or anything like that. But that's the sort of flavours that come out. Yeah, that's whiskey, right. Which which is like they uh, got an extra couple of banana trees and palm trees yeah. and lemons and limes and Ooh, a, a vineyard somewhere and they're all mixing it together, aren't it? Unexpected, but uh, still no uh, no real complaint. There is a bit of sting there. There is a bit of burn because of the alcohol content, mm -hmm. which brings well, it, it down is. a little. But it's it's not enough to make me not want to drink it. Funny, funny to say, it's forty percent. So 40, yeah. what, what was your, what was the Jamsons? It was Sorry. forty, so the, the, yeah. all three of these bottles we've had are forty. Okay. I would have that's, thought that's the first one. It doesn't come through with the Jamison no. as much as it's coming through on this yeah. one. Yeah, and the first one we had was like yeah, that yeah. was just pure alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. She but yeah, it's I, I I could easily sit back and pop a cork on this. Sure. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. I I, didn't, I enjoyed the Jamisons a little bit more, but this is. <laughs> well, if I had the choice, I'd pick Jamison. Yeah, because yeah. I, I know that I already love it. This is nice. Yeah, uh, I, I pick the Jamsons as well. Yeah. It, this isn't bad. I, it's I wouldn't. Not bad. Yeah. You're talking about the um, Ireland not being the um, Caribbean. I just got a very weird mental image. Imagine little leprechauns going skipping along a, a golden beach, going, "Tell me, sure, who did you like some whiskey? Hello, ha." So they'd be drinking rum if they're in the Caribbean. Oh, oh, true. Yes. Yeah. Leprechauns and rum. Yeah. Oh, that was Yo messy. ho ho and a bottle. Lucky charm. <laughs> <laughs> to be sure, to be sure. Follow sure. the end of the rainbow. What do you find? A bottle of rum and some lucky charms. Yeah, and what do you and, uh, what do you call those little fellas? Um, leprechauns. No, not leprechauns. Yeah, leprechauns. <laughs> no, no leprechauns is the thing with a head on a head, isn't it? Huh? No, what am I thinking of? Unicorns. Unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorns in the Caribbean, that's just stupid. <laughs> On rum. No, that's just going to be completely unrealistic. <laughs> Yo, you think. Yo, ho, ho, and I'm a unicorn. <laughs> From unicorns. It's like, yeah, what can you, you add to that? you got pirate leprechauns riding unicorns in the Caribbean. Go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I think you've said it all. <laughs> Just don't trip. If I've seen that, I'll be impressed. <laughs> Wonder mm. what's where, what where, when you've had a few rums, you want to be watching where that unicorn's head is. Mm. Whatever, whatever I was <laughs> drinking that day, I'd definitely be buying it again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to be taken back to that land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sheesh. Okay, I don't know where we came up with that, but anyway. Just that mind. was a combined just, effort. Huh? Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, combined effort. <laughs> it started with my mind. Mm -hmm. Slight segue into, did you know that there's um, the National Leprechaun Museum in Dublin? Oh, really? Mm. A national they sell wee pots of gold? <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> you have to find it at the end of a rainbow. Oh, okay. yes. Mm. Um, I've been to the Which national... is rubbish, by the way. Yeah. If you're trying to hide a treasure, why would you sit it under this huge beacon that everyone can see mm. and follow it. Mm. That's stupid. But the thing is, the myth goes, you know, that there's a big rainbow, but every time you get, try to go to the end of the rainbow, it keeps moving. I don't know if you ever tried that. When I was a little yeah, kid, a and I was like in the back of a car, and Dad's like, oh, my mum was like, oh, there's a big mm. rainbow. Look, I'll see if you can get to the end of it. You know, there's only 100 metres or 200 metres away. Every time you go that 100 metres or 200 metres, it would move 100 metres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that's where the myth comes from. Yeah. Mm. It's at, the, at the end of the rainbow, mm. and you can never get to the end of the rainbow. See what happens when you pour such a big swig, Craig. This is what happens. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here's three grown men in a room talking about friggin' rainbows. Well, says the one who thought a unicorn was a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> a leprechaun was a unicorn. Wouldn't that be funny? Is <laughs> <laughs> a leprechaun riding a unicorn? <laughs> Actually, I'm so big like that. Oh, no. Le Le <laughs> riding unicorn. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What have I done? <laughs> no, it has to be a pirate leprechaun riding a unicorn. <laughs> Did we score this yet? No, not yet. No, we haven't. I was just, ha I was just about to ask the question, actually. Okay, how, how about we give it a scoring, and um, we'll go from there. I'd happily...
for a 10 year old single mold I'd happily give it up around a six and a half seven I can definitely smell like a large alcohol base but it doesn't come through it doesn't give you a big burn it's very fruity it sort of takes all the, the the alcohol base away from from the mouth and puts a bit of fruit in there there's no afterburn I haven't had a haven't any bad afterburns and it gives it a fruity aftertaste so it's got everything you really want in a whiskey everything's sort of there it's sort of ticked all the all the lower grade boxes for me like it's it's got the alcohol content it's got the flavor it hasn't got a big burn i like a little bit of burn definitely fruity and it hasn't got a bad aftertaste and i'm interested in another one so it's in a way it's sort of ticked all the boxes so what what score did you settle on about a six and a half or a seven I, I ran it up to seven. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I, I'm not really one for doing halves, so no I'd happily go six or a seven. Yeah, either. So, uh, uh, Craig, so is that one you won't drink again or one you might drink again? Could consider it. <laughs> one you maybe might drink again. Maybe, maybe one, maybe drink again one day. <laughs> it's a lot better than the, the blended. Yep. Sorry, I'm still drinking wine. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> that. Oh, I, I know you. Oh, oh, please, go on. Don't let us interrupt you. Yeah. I didn't not, not like it, which is not too bad. Okay. Uh, the initial kick was holy mm. dooly. Mind mm. you, I say that probably about any, any alcohol at the moment. Mm. How are you? Well, now that I've had a few minutes to think about it, I am starting to get a bit of a grubby taste oh, yeah? uh, in my mouth. Um, it's not... What about when you don't think about it? It's, <laughs> it's not really all that bad but there's nothing all that good going for it either because you, you, you get that nice fruity flavour but it's after you get through that mm. alcoholic punch at the start and then there's no burn there but just that sort of raw alcohol flavour doesn't go away so it's always fighting against that <coughs> fruitiness mm. which is a shame because if they were able to bring that fruitiness out it'd probably be a lot smoother and a lot nicer and it's not very, it's not very smooth at all but it's only a 10 year. There's more to come when you sort of move up the bush meals later. So I'm mm. sure that that's a problem they take care of as you move up the road. So, so it's, it's left you interested in, in a higher year. Yeah, because, so it, it, well, yeah. not to, uh, I don't really want to sound like an asshole. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be a snob, but that one's got potential. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got potential. It's got potential. Uh, I think I, I, I have had the 12 year before mm -hmm. and I did enjoy that. So that's... Don't really, it was a couple of years ago, so I don't really remember the specifics, but I'm sure that you take that same whiskey, you age it in the barrel longer, yeah. it takes away that... Alcoholic that, punch? It takes, takes, away the, takes away the burn, the, the sting, yeah. and it brings the fruity flavor forward. It's not painful, it's not really bad, so I'll, I'll give it a five. Five? Okay. So that's three down. Okay, three now rounds. we've one got a very special. Oh, I've, I've been waiting. We've got a very special waiting for this one. to get stuck in. Oh. I don't even think you've <laughs> had a chance to hold it. Oh, I haven't even, even touched it. it yet. I've seen it. Ooh, a thing of beauty, yeah. isn't it? What a nice bottle. It's nice, isn't it? If only we could show what we're seeing. You haven't even smelt it. I haven't smelt it. Wow. All I've had, all I've done is look at it and touch the bottle. <laughs> I can tell there's fingerprints uh, all over. Okay. So that, um, it's nice and cold though. So wow. what are we actually looking at? Because we haven't actually said the name. Okay, well, this is a green or single grain Irish whiskey <clears throat> from a small batch of five thousand only, and it's since been discontinued. So it's one of five thousand. It's eight years old, and I'm looking forward to it because I've never tasted a single grain. Whiskey. Neither. Mm. So, uh, don't look at me to answer that question. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think you've ever <laughs> seen one, probably, or, or tasted one. No. There's about, I think there's four wow. uh, different aged in this range. There's a six and eight. I think there's a 12 and an 18. I might be incorrect. But uh, yeah, the, this is the eight year mm -hmm. and really looking forward to it. What, what, what do you think when you, you see this? It's okay, I'll let you hang on to it. It's a lovely colour. It's a very nice colour. A unique small batch of single grain Irish whiskey. Sweet and smooth, this delicate whiskey is produced in small batches to house quality for your ultimate enjoyment. Awesome. One yep. thing that does worry me okay. is I read that it's very good with ice cream. 
Oh, so, oh, so it's sweet. Well, I'm worried it might be more of a liqueur <coughs> than a whiskey. That's what I'm worried about. Okay. Now, by viewing this bottle, the thing that stands out the most is the size of this cork. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is a whopping cork. That's a massive cork. Oh, Compared to the last cork which we popped, which was very small, this one is quite large. It's a big yeah. one. It's a big you one. You could not possibly put that in a wine bottle. <laughs> it's that big. It's a plug and a half. Hmm. Now, eight-year-old whiskey. Now, a blended whiskey is very young. You know, eight-year-old. I don't know. I don't know. I've never, never tried anything that that says that it's really, really enjoyable. That's eight-year-old. Now, before I warm this up, have have it, Martin. With it. You've been staring at it the longest. How about you do the honors and pop on the cork? Okay. Oh, oh nice. Wow. And as any um, whiskey lover that. does, Martin smells the cork. He's smelling the bottle. Not getting much from that, actually. Okay, so he says there's not too I'm much just, of an odour there. I'm just not getting much out of it. I'm getting a slight hint of sweet. Like, um, honey. Okay. It's very slight. Well, though. that sort of backs up the liqueur theory. Very, very slight. It's hard to mm, pick. Very slight. Note. Yeah, very hard to pick. Very slight metho, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who did you grow up with? Everything's metho to you. Yeah, Marta. A metho family. Have you? <laughs> everyone wash their glasses. Yep, yep, we're definitely getting small. everything out of these. Yeah, I'm gonna shake go. this shit out of these. Hang on, hang on. get all the freaking water out of them. Oh, here it goes into my glass. Hasn't that got a very deep sound when you're pouring it? Yeah. I'm very expecting. Sticky. I can just see how smooth it is. By yeah, way. it's very oily. Isn't it? I, I can. Very I can tell it's it's gonna smell much better now. It's in an open area, so maybe. No, <laughs> no not really. Oh, it's still not the very strong. No, it's not. A, I, it's like well, Martin said. I can tell it's, it's got like a very oil base. Like it's it's almost thick. It's um. It ha has like a. It's not giving away any odor or fumes or anything. It's, that's quite different. It is. I don't understand done. that. Excuse me for a second there. It, I'm, is it? I'm take does a, it have something to do with the fact that it's a single grain instead of a single malt? Perhaps. Maybe. I haven't done enough homework. Well, uh, has has well, anyone had a taste yet? I've been no, too intrigued by this bottle yeah, and this flavor. Very St. Paddy's Day, gentlemen. Thank cheers you. too. That's different. It is different. It's sort of slight burn. It, it starts off very yeah, I'm sort I'm of. Burn. It starts off a bit dead. There, there's nothing going on. No, when no. You, when you first have a swig, and then you move it, it around, it, then it comes through. Yeah, you, you you swallow it, and then that that taste is still there. The um, oh, it's hard to describe. It's a slight do alcohol that, taste. Do a, but what sort of barrels is it distilled? I reckon that might be the the flavour of the barrel coming through. You reckon? The, the aftertaste is really fruity. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a sweet. It's, it's, it's very fruity, very mm. almost sugar, sugary or yeah, it's it, it there's some sugary or or some honey sort of elements. Yeah, in there. something it's, coming it's, through at the end. The, the, what's coming through is is sweet. I don't mind that. Um, just waiting for an aftertaste before mm. I have another sip. This is the uh, letter it came with. Oh, it actually oh. came with a letter. Wow. Um, okay. And it's actually got a huge list of what. Supposed to smell like okay, oh, okay. So Google, yeah. tropical fruit, coconut, papaya, guava, rum, vanilla, okay, okay. Can, raisin, be, peanut. Before we get any further, that letter looks very, very interesting. It's it's like old fashioned paper, and <laughs> I, I think you um you ought to read that from the top. Yes. I think this is a, a, a story to be to be tailed. Oh yes, to be tailed. Tailed. To be tailed. Tailed. I'm gonna show that story. There's a, there's a tale about the story. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the letter goes. I trust you all well in enjoying the cricket. It has certainly been entertaining. On to whiskey, however. The Irish are treating us to a to a dram this month, making St Paddy's Day next week all the more enjoyable. Green ore was Ireland's first single grain whiskey. Of excellent pedigree, it tastes like no other grain whiskey in the world and achieved a best in class three years running at an international wine and spirit competition. But as you know, the real reason this month's whiskey is such a, such a find 
is that following its recent acquisition by Beam Suntory, the Green Ore brand is to be ceased and will be re-released in its new packaging and branding as Kilbegan Single Grain. In fact, currently, no more green ore is currently being made, and existing stock will become very collectible. Tasting notes for your reference. Colour. Golden Irish Sunrays. Nose. Sweet tropical fruits, coconut, papaya, guava, rum notes, vanilla, raisin and roasted peanuts. Palate. Complex fudge, mocha, tropical fruit, coriander and mint. Finish, medium long finish with vanilla and oak shining through. For the love of whiskey. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, 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 oi. The oak comes through and I think that's pretty spot on. Uh, you yeah, get it's that, definitely that, oaky. That, that oaky flavour comes through yeah. at the end. But you can I'm smell not getting, it at the um, start. I'm not getting coconut or fudge or anything. I don't, there's no mint in there. It's just sort of very sweet. There's a lot of sugary, honey sort of flavour and then the oak comes through. Yeah, yeah I, I can even smell oak at the start. It's, it's almost, yeah, it's almost over, well, I wouldn't say overpowering, but a very, very strong smell of oak at the start. Mm-hmm. Smell, I, I've smelt this before when oak is being cut. I've actually mm. seen oak cut before. Well, I've actually smelt this burning before. Well, Bundy Reserve is very oaky. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. true. If, you, if you like oaky stuff, I recommend Bundy Reserve. What do you think, Craig? Intriguing. It wasn't too bad. What, what flavours can you feel coming through? I couldn't pick any flavours. It's all a fruity mix type. A mix of flavours. wasn't unpleasant. It, it really fit in my untrained palate. Yeah, it, it, it's it's different because, um, like, initially there's nothing that comes through. It, it's very bland. There's nothing mm. going on. And then you give it a couple seconds and then that sweetness comes through. And then once that's finished with, that wood comes out, the, the oakiness. Mm. And then that's that's the sort of, that's the big star of what's going on is the oak. So it's completely different to what I was expecting. Yeah, I, well, I wasn't. Re- I didn't really know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting the oak to come. Hmm. There, there's a, a sweet. I just had a, 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 a nice sip, a really, really big sip of it. it. Smells slightly sweet at the start. Then you get the alcoholic base, base, which which isn't overpowering, and it it continues all the way through until you swallow it. And then it's like the sweetness sort of gets rid of it. And then you're left with an oak oak yeah. flavour. You know, I still I swallowed that thirty seconds ago. And I'm still left with an oak taste. Mm. Would you like another? <clears throat> I would. That that is. I I, I rather enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I could I could sit back and definitely drink drink that um, for an, for an eight year old Scotch. That is really nice. Yeah, and eight's a sort of an unusual number. Yeah, you it don't, is. You don't usually find an eight year. No, it's... You'll, you'll yeah. find a, a 12 or... 10, 12... Or an 18... 18, or, yeah, you know, 21... But, and yeah, but an, an 8, that's a bit unusual. Would you like some more? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I've had my little sip. So, uh, who's enjoying this? I am. I'm enjoying it. it it's just really different. I, I just sort of had to get used to the... the, the t- <laughs> difference. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, I'm not really a, it's much of a, a sweet tooth, but... Um, the sweetness there is it's not overpowering and then the wood the, the oak takes over yeah and, and the, the sweetness is just enough to cut through the alcohol base once, once the, yeah, the there's sweetness no, cuts through it's very nice there's no sting or yeah. burn from the alcohol no not at all the fruit takes care of that yeah and then the wood takes care of everything mm. yeah but the thing says there's coconut and oh, I can't taste coconut and, coconut and tropical things like that uh, the, I don't get a hint of any of that is it fudge as well? Fudge as well, yeah. Coconut and fudge, that sort yeah, of stuff. Well, maybe, that's not there. Maybe, not for me. maybe the um, coconut in, and the fudge is, is combining the sweetness to, to, to get rid of the alcohol base. So maybe they, they put it in there to, to clear the, the burn, the continuous burn all the way through. Mm. But it might have, the alcohol burn con- content might have sort of killed the, the mm. coconut and the, the fudge. That's why you can't taste it. Well, here's a question for you Did we get a dud? Well, if Have we it's, got a spoiled whiskey? If, if it's eight years old, how long has it been sitting on the shelf if it's discontinued? Yeah, but it stops ageing once it's out of the barrel. I know, but... <laughs> well, I heard it. I heard a vacuum seal when you pop the cork, so... I, mm. It's actually very enjoyable. Normally, a spoiled whiskey would taste pretty bad. It's different, but I like it. Mm. Comparing it to 
the only real oak reference I have is Bundaberg Reserve. Um, that's the only other spirit I've had that's like oak flavoured. Oh, and that's wow. very overpowering. You have to have it with something. You can't have it on its own. Because mm-hmm. it's so strong, that oak flavour. But this, yeah. is, this is quite nice. This is... I don't know if it would. You, would you put anything in it? Would you put it? No, water not at all. You reckon it's good? I reckon it's good on it. I reckon it's good on its own. I, I could try a bit with ice, but I think it might help to cut through the alcohol base, but it might also dilute the nice oak flavour. Mm. I'm, I'm very contemplating on it. Um, well, we've done the ice test for all the other. Well, yeah, it's it's sort of you sort of want to because you want to see what it does. Yeah, but you also but don't want to ruin your you glass. You don't want to run the risk of spoiling. What's a yeah, very this, limited whiskey? It, this, this could be, you know, next year this could be a, extinct. Know, yeah, yeah, it well, could be gone. It, it is extinct. Yeah, well, it's extinct now. This glass now is probably, you know, twenty dollars worth just for a nip. It's a nice bottle too. Very nice bottle. Yeah, yeah you never know. That'll well, make why a good, not? Um, why wouldn't you try it when you got it? That's right. right. So the question remains: since we got, since so, we got this in the mail, was it worth? The weight. It is indeed. It is. I've never had a single grain whiskey before, and I've never had a whiskey with oak flavour in it. Mm. I, I rather enjoying this. I would like to be a snob and say I've tried a lot of whiskies in my time, but I haven't tried them all. And I'd have to say this is one of the top ones I'd, I've tried. Being an, only an eight-year-old, this is right up, right up there. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so different though because it doesn't have that caramelized smoothness we talked about with the Jamison. It, it's it's a completely different concept because it's it's not malt. No, it's oak. It's grain and oak. All oak. Whatever cast they were using is very very nice timber. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what barrels. Well, what was in it before these? I would like to know. All right. So uh, scoring, yeah. Craig, would you have that again? Give it another shot, wonder. Woo. Well, you better be quick. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's only uh, just over three quarters of a bottle left. Yes, yes. You, you might have to try a bit more tonight. <laughs> we'll see. So before we um, we'll score, score you polish the bottle. We got to score. How about we score mm. before it becomes too incomprehensible? So let's score. Let's start from you, Greg. Um, so I'm not, I'm not really scoring, but would you or wouldn't you? I. If you could buy a bottle. I think we did get that far before. Yeah, we did get that far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'd consider it. If someone, <laughs> someone mysteriously <laughs> pulled a bottle out of their cupboard and said, would you like some? Ooh. I could possibly consider it. Does this person have knowing, a TARDIS? Knowing this, this bottle, yes. you would probably never ever see again. Ooh. Would you say yes? Yes, just for the fact that I could say, I'm drinking an endangered species. Well, you... Basically, did tonight. I did. <laughs> so, feel special. One to me. No, no, I consider it. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Marta? Well, it's it's hard for me because because I don't know what a single grain whiskey is supposed to taste mm-hmm. like, and I don't know what the best single grain whiskey tastes like. So it's hard to sort of put it in, in a, perspective. It, yeah. Mm. Well, but, if um, I suppose the smoothness is there. There's no problem with the smoothness. Flavor, it, it, there. There's two good. There's the there's the fruitiness and there's the oak. The, the description says it has so much other stuff, but I don't get any of that. There's no smell to it, which is different. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's just weird. It's just different. Uh, the aftertaste is fine, and you can have a neat. You don't have to do anything to it. So there's, there's nothing really bad about it. But I don't so, know. So it's, it's just hard to score it high because I don't know where it ranks be, compared to others. Well, if, so so maybe, if, maybe maybe we'll rank it in the ones we tried tonight well so. well then it's number one it's, it's, it's it, it is the better one of the bunch yeah. if, if i was to score it I, I would say it's the sweetness takes the alcohol flavor or the flavor or content away from it um that's that's the sort of aftertaste i'm going to work backwards here guys you you're left from with a nice nice oak flavor flavored taste in the mouth Oak's not a bad flavour. It's very nice. Um, it's very re- rare you get a, a, a flavour like this with oak. It's hard to find in a whiskey. There's a little bit of sweetness there. It, it's not a great deal or great amount of sweetness. Before that, you get a, an alcohol burn. The, the only thing is, it's, if you pop the bottle in a room, everyone looks at the bottle and goes, wow, that's a nice bottle. Wow, it's a big cork. Mm. 
but there's no odour. There's nothing there to draw you in. That's correct. You could pop this in a room of 50 people and... People would keep walking. No one would sit there and go, what's that? that (laughs) What's going on? Who who opened a bottle of that? Like, if you could open this in a room of 500 people and no one would blink or batter an eyelid when they're walking by. There's a flavour. There's a tiny bit of a burn. There's a sweetness and there's a nice oak flavour at the end. Mm. It's just missing the smell. There's no odour coming out of this bottle. The missing link. Mm. It's like a like a three stage it of flavour. Yeah. And it's got the fruity and then the oak, but it's missing that first stage. That's right, that's exactly right. If, if you stuck your nose right near the liquid, yeah, it would draw you in every time. It is so hard to get out of the liquid. Oh, it's very nice on the, on the taste buds. So will you be scoring it out of ten or will you be ranking it amongst... I wouldn't rank it amongst others because I've had some really nice blendeds and I've had some really nice single malts. So it's, you can't sort of do that. I'd give it a score of about a eight, eight Ooh, and a half. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'd say eight, eight and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, only because it's odorless. It's almost odorless. You got to breathe really deep. You really got to work hard for that whiff. Which is if we got if, if, if you got a blocked nose, that could be a problem. And I think. Especially if I think if it's if it's <laughs> only eight like years, if you're right there, and then you sneeze, you're gonna get a booger flavoured whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Other than booger, booger flavoured whiskies, I, I would also a, that could be an idea. If if, if this is only an eight year old whiskey, eight year old whiskey, I would like to see the next one because I think the age of it in a barrel would almost be very 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 uh, mellow. Mm. It would all it would smooth the alcohol base right out because this one's it's on the slightly on the alcohol side. It's got a slight alcohol taste, but it's it's very very fruity alcohol. And then you get the oak, and that mellows everything. As soon as you get the oak, alcohol's gone. So was that an eight and a half from you? Eight and a half. I'd say an eight. Okay. Eight. You don't like halves, do you? No, I don't, I'm not a halves man. <laughs> now after after sipping this and giving this an eight, I'd probably give the the Jamsons half a day, like go down one with the Jamsons because this oh. is this is a little bit not this is much nicer timber flavour than the Jamsons so your Jamison score was a well, 7 oh, oh, it's hard I to say I gave it a 7 uh, no I'd, I'd say it was 7 I'd say it was 7 Jamsons is, it is a malt isn't it no it's a grain single Gra- grain oh sorry single grain no yeah. malt yeah that's what I mean sorry, that's why it's I, hard I'm, to compare I'm, it to others um, a, a single grain to malt sure after having a single grain I would like yeah, more. Mm. And so, do you have a score out of ten, Mudo? Can't do it. Can't do oh, it. Oh, you got to score it. Can't I scored it. it. I score it comparing I... to what you've had, not what well, you know. Well, I've had an Ard Bog, and I gave that a nine out of ten. I've had Ard Beg. I've given that an eight out of ten. The Jamison, I gave a seven out of ten. I do like this, but I don't think it's as delicious as the Ard Beg. But seven is too low a score. So we well, decided a score right there. I'll give it a seven and three quarters. Ooh, oh, God oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, he's he's a, a, a sorry. Three. Okay, okay. I'll give it a seven point nine. Oh, and he's giving it a friggin' seriously three and three quarters, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm like Lance. I don't mm. like fractions. Mm. Seven point nine for the pussy. So when. when it, <laughs> You can't give it just under an eight. Point oh one oh of a friggin' score. Our scores today we had Jamison whiskey, Mato seven, Lance seven, Bushmills triple distilled, blend, Mato two, Lance four, uh, Bushmills single malt ten year, uh, Mato five, Lance six, and Glenmore single grain eight year, Lance eight, Mato seven point nine. <laughs> just go eight, would you? <laughs> I, yeah. I said seven and three quarters, but I got a ruckus from. You just say no. It's just say eight. No, it's an eight. It's not worth an eight. Seven point nine. Say o o point one o of a vote off an eight. You can keep it. Put it towards your first million. So it'd be eight point one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it an eight point one if you give it a seven point nine. What? Yeah, that's how it will work. I'll give it a seven point nine. You give it an eight point one. Yeah, so we'll make because you like even numbers. Yeah, that's right. You got. You can't just be. Just decimals. Why everything's got to be even? It's my show. Do it yeah. alone. <coughs> oh. I've got, I've got, you know, I can hit stop. Yeah. I don't like... Yeah. Oh, I'm not a man for doing halves. But Sorry. that's okay. 
We'll let you live this time. All right. Well, I've enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day, gentlemen. Thank you for uh, having some Irish whiskey with me. No worries, brother. Did you enjoy yourselves? I did. It was an interesting good time, yes. Yeah, we covered some uh, interesting topics. educational topics there. So, yeah, so Merry St. Paddy's Day, boys. Cheers. Merry St. Paddy's Day to you. Cheers. So it's goodbye from me, Charlie Mops. It's goodbye from Lance. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from Mr. Craig. To be sure to share, to deliver, and see you next time. In a very bad Irish accent. For St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and look out for the unicorns. So don't forget to like us on Facebook and drink responsibly. Catch you later. Bye.